So one of the lessons that we learned from COVID is how essential technology is to our daily lives. We also saw that not everyone has access to digital technology. So there's an organization in the Bronx that is looking to close this digital divide in underserved communities and really create a talent pipeline of techies. It's fascinating, right? Joining us now is Geraldine Rodriguez, co-founder of the Knowledge House and Kivana Berry, a graduate of the program. Ladies, thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for having us. I think this is yeah, so thanks. absolutely. I think it's so important to speak with you both. Let me start with you, Gerilyn, um, because you started this organization, what, about six years ago? Tell us the mission behind it. Yeah, so the mission of the Knowledge House is to empower and sustain a talent pipeline of technologists coming from low income communities. Well, that is fantastic. And, you know, let's fast forward to 2020 and COVID. You saw a huge increase in the number of people applying to your programs. Um, and why do you think that is? Tell us about who was trying to reach and, and break that digital divide. Absolutely. At the start of COVID, we saw applications to our program almost double. And it's because historically, Knowledge House applicants are underemployed. But since COVID, everyone, for the most part, is unemployed or furloughed. We saw an increase in applications from folks who were looking for jobs, looking to transition into remote work, but we also saw an increase from students enrolled in college unsure about their career pathways during COVID apply as well. That's been, you know, and you got some really big help. Uh, rapper, um, French Montana, how'd you link up with him? How'd you get folks interested in helping you just really break this digital divide? Yeah, so French Montana's PR team actually reached out to us two years ago. Um, his recent album was about to launch, and he was interested in supporting youth immigrants that were interested in STEM and the arts. And so we partnered, he donated to launch the first cohort of the program. And right now we have youth that have gone on to Columbia University, Stanford University, Hunter College to study computer science because of the program and French Montana support. Well, let's bring in one of those young people, Kiana Berry. Kiana, first of all, you're a graduate of the Knowledge House. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate that. I love seeing this big, beautiful smile of yours. So tell us a little bit about your experience. Sure, so yes, my experience in the Knowledge House, I was one of those students, as Jonah had mentioned, I was studying uh, anthropology, biology, chemistry alongside, had applying to uh, the Knowledge House. And my experience for, through from beginning to end has been so empowering, enriching, being able to have volunteers there that really dedicated hours to investing in us and making sure we were prepared for the careers we were applying to, mm -hmm. um, the, all the career prep that the Knowledge House had and the opportunity to develop our technical skills and through building projects and presenting them and working with teams and cross uh, functionally as well with uh, the data science cohort. So it was a an experience that they might now more than ever, I think we needed the opportunity to upskill and mm -hmm. the Knowledge House was definitely the place to do that. I love how you said that they were right there alongside you, helping you not only individual, but with teams as well. I mean, that's a lot of the, the learning skills that you get there. Um, do you do you credit it for helping you get to where you are? Yes, for sure. I believe that the the skill of building the network is so important and having the incredible uh, amount of volunteers that from big companies to, to Bloomberg to Cloudinary that were there and supportive of our journey really helped uh, bring my best self out when I was applying for jobs. And uh, that led me to my recent opportunity with Red Hat slash IBM, which I would have not have gotten had I not been prepared mentally to with within the Knowledge House, having had all those career prep sessions and um, all the support that we had as students. That is fantastic. So I'm hearing that you got this job with IBM? Yeah, Red Hat, Congrats. Sasha, IBM. Look yeah. at you, not only are you a graduate, you already got your first job. Geraldine, that's gotta be well, really rewarding. I'm an associate. Okay, I'm but, an associate, we're gonna, but I'm working towards that. <laughs> there you go, okay. But Geraldine, that's gotta make you really proud, right? We're so proud, so proud of Kiana and her uh, peers. A lot of them have gotten positions at Google, Con Edison, and the list goes on and on. So we're really excited to have students like Kiana, and we're recruiting the next set of students right now. Okay, so what is it that you're looking for? How can people participate? Yeah, so right now we're um, accepting applications from youth and job seekers in New York, Atlanta, Newark, and Los Angeles. We are expanding this year. Our application is live on our website, theknowledgehouse.org. 
uh, uh, forward slash apply. Mm -hmm. And the only eligibility, um, eligibility requirement is that you make less than $50,000. Got it. And Kiana, I know you're going to turn that intern internship into a full-fledged job. Any place that you want to go, thank you both ladies for what you're doing and just the inspiration for others. We appreciate it. Thanks for having thank us. You. Absolutely. All right, there you go. Success stories, right? Right here. Closing that divide. I mean, mm -hmm. that's awesome. It's huge.